You know, the Bible says in Exodus 20, thou shalt not steal. What about what Darcy says? Darcy says a nice cherry lollipop would hit the spot right about now. And stealing is a concept that somehow became a little fuzzy to our friends in Prairie Town on the day of our story. <laughs> <gasps> He's gone. Disappeared. Madam, I have not disappeared. I am very tiny. I'm a germ. A rare disease. I'm called Malagalitamopterosis. And you caught me, Mim! What?! <laughs> First, you break out into spots. Followed by hot and cold flashes. Oh, then violent sneezing. <laughs> end up biting. Ask Mr. Fox, for he's much cleverer than I. Mr. Fox, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Why don't you ask Mr. Turtle, for he's been around a lot longer than I. Me? <laughs> I'd bite. Mr. Turtle, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Why, he never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl, for he is the wisest of us all. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a smart owl. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> the world may never know. You look like the overcooked turkey my mom makes on Thanksgiving. <laughs> So smart, and yet so stupid. Oh, look over there. It looks like a watering hole. Cool. If I were a leopard, I would go there too. That's what cats do when it gets hot like today. They drink water to cool down. If that's where a leopard is going to be, then we should be there too. Ground floor, please. Cafeteria, please. There's no cafeteria, Rolly. Doesn't hurt to try. I'm pretty hungry from traveling halfway around the world. Katie, what is all this stuff you have on? I'm running in a race today. I need all the stuff to help me run the race. I need lots and lots of stuff. See ya. Katie, I don't think that stuff will really... We'll see. Kid, if there's anything you need, just ask your Auntie Deb. Or if I'm not around, you can always talk to my sister, Flo. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> Don't listen to anything my sister says. She's nuts. <laughs> yeah! Hi, Dad! Hi. No, no! Don't do that! Dad, wait back! Enough with the showboating! What do you mean? They like it! What they came here for? Dance and packs! the new guy. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here, and I see you found our Behind the Ears preview, where we're getting ready for new episodes of Muppets Tonight. Hey, hey, Kermit, look. Uh, excuse me. What is it, Donzel? It's Harold the Mummy, star of Under Wraps. Oh, sure, that's the brand new Disney Channel original movie. How's it going there, Harold? Well, relax, Kermit. I speak fluent mummy. Hmm? Harold said the movie is going great. Uh -huh. It'll be on in October, oh. just in time for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And it's about three kids who befriend a mummy, played by Harold. Typecasting. And something about looking for Harold's 3,000-year-old lost girlfriend. Wait a second. He said all of that? He also said that when they finish production, we're invited to the rap party. Hmm. You get it? Mummy? Rap party? Under wraps? Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Who gets the good land? In the ancient world, it was very simple. The oldest person had the right to pick first. Hey, I'm the oldest. Oh, man. So Abraham would choose the good land. Oh, man. A 
Abraham's flocks would flourish. Oh, man! Will you stop shouting that? Hey, you ever wonder where our owners go all day? Well, they go out, and they're immediately miserable without us. They must be starving! Poor, poor humans! They have nothing to play with. Nothing. They gotta be so bored. Well, thank goodness they have us. Pre-game ritual? I like to remind myself who I'm playing for. My family. And right now, it's all about Dom. We'll get your son back. I promise. Well, that's all for today. Come back soon and we'll do it again, okay? Bye.